Lightning Lee Murray wanted to be world champion in the UFC. He just happens to be involved in the largest cash robbery in the world. This is sort of thing you see in Hollywood films. Heists, armed gang, huge amounts of money. The policeman, shorty, hoodie, Mr. Average, high vis, driver, and stopwatch. A fiendishly clever plan, which up to the moment they drove away, had worked flawlessly. Catching Lightning, only on Showtime, streaming with Paramount Plus. Get a great offer courtesy of KG Certified and BetMGM, the king of sportsbook. Sign up using bonus code KG1000 and you'll get back up to $1,000. Yes, $1,000 in your bonus bets if you don't win your first bet. That's for real. BetMGM's parlay specials, daily odds, boosts, fan-friendly promos make it the best place to bet on all your favorite sports. Download the BetMGM app today or go to BetMGM.com and enter the bonus code KG1000. Yes, KG1000 and you'll get up to $1,000 back in your bonus bets if you don't win your first bet. Nothing beats a W at Bedham Gym. Bet responsibly and nothing but love. Man, you already know, man. Hey, man, we got a great one here today on KG Certified. The great Matt Barnes in here today. You know what I'm saying? My dog. Appreciate bro. you, bro. Appreciate you, man. Yeah. Let's get it. I want to ask you this, man. I asked Pete this, man. Can you make a full assessment of the West without seeing KD in the Phoenix Suns at least five to ten games? Can you make a real assessment? Yeah, oh. I, I think I can make an assessment, and I, and I don't think it'll be the assessment everyone thinks. Uh, I think the top three in the West are, have obviously earned their position in Denver, Memphis, Sacramento. Yep. But you know better than anybody, come playoff time, you need experience. Wow. And none of them have really cut their teeth in the playoff set. You could say Denver did it in the bubble, but I don't, no one really counts the bubble. Facts. Like, you got to do it in, in a real arena. So, but that being said, I see teams like Golden State. I see teams like Phoenix that you just add KD because I feel like he's the one superstar that you can seamlessly add to any team and they instantly get better. It, to me, there's not much chemistry. When he played those three games, granted it was only three games, they were 3 0. They had the number seven offense and the number, uh, number, number, seven, number seven offense and the number six defense within mm. that small time frame. And on top of that, Book was averaging 36 points with 54% from the field and 50% from the three point line. So he took a ton of pressure off Book as well. So mm. I say all that to say is I wouldn't be surprised if, when it's all said and done, it's Phoenix, Golden State, and the Clippers. To me, those are the. Even though PG is hurt, I think if they can hold the fort till PG comes back to me, one of those three teams I feel like is coming out of the West, and I say that with all respect to Denver, Memphis, and, and SAC. I just feel like those three teams I mentioned have a lot of experience, uh, a lot of talent, and they haven't put it together yet, but they're the type of teams that can turn it on come playoff time. You know what I like about the playoffs coming here and there not being a lot of time? For Phoenix, it ain't going to be a bunch of gimmicky stuff. They're going to get right to, right to it. A, B, and C, and it ain't really a bunch of time to throw a bunch of gimmicky stuff no. in there. And, it's, 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 and you hit it right on the head. I think a player like KD changes you instantly. Instantly, right. And I'm just up here looking at it on paper, man. I'm watching Devin Booker's. Yes. I'm watching his... his um, his morale. Mm -hmm. I'm watching his his boost. Mm -hmm. He was so boosted, it was like, oh man, this is exactly what I needed. Mm -hmm. That's when I shot, man. You got two guys who can arguably get you 50. Like you gotta give them two double teams. You got man, we forget Chris Paul is on this team, right? And DeAndre. We Hayden. forget DeAndre Hey, These are two other mm -hmm. guys who can get 30, 40 in your league. And you know who KD helped out of all of this? He helped Chris Paul. Yep. I think this can actually extend Chris Paul's yep. state at Phoenix, mm -hmm. and not only did they just jump the line, but they jumped the line in, I want to see, I, wanna, I don't know, I want to see a seven game series with the Nuggets and the Suns. Mm -hmm. I want to see a seven game series with Memphis and the Suns, like mm -hmm. with that morale, yeah. you understand? So I agree. I, and listen, I, as, as, I, and, 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 and you know what I'm not going to do? Man, I'm not going to discount the Kings, man. The Kings are consistent, 
I always call someone, when you are second or when you are third or when you are first, you know why you're those three? Because you've been consistent with what you're doing. They got a formula, and in, 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 they got a real formula yeah. in Sacramento, and it is working. I agree. They ain't nobody want to see the Kings, man. No, I and Mike Brown for, for, for coach of the year. Yeah, Straight I mean, up. I think you two, two great points. First to touch on the Kings, I think you... I mean, the number one historical offense of all time. Um, they're blowing just, it out of the... You, they're blowing it out of the fucking... I just want to see what they do in the playoffs because yeah. that's how you, you know, you, that's how you make it's your name. Thing, you know, this yeah. is the first time in 16 years, so I'm really excited for them. But uh, the, the point you made about Chris Paul, I think, is huge. I think it took so much pressure off Chris to have to be that second guy. I called a game with CP last week where this dude, without KD or Aiden, had 10 assists in the first quarter. Wow. You know what I mean? He can just sit up there and really orchestrate. So imagine when you get KD back and Aiden back, he can orchestrate, pick and choose his spots. And you got to think, at this time, even though Chris is older, you got to put your third or fourth worst defender on CP. He's going to slice that person up. So Man, he's still good. <laughs> He can so still he hit still a corner gets, three. He still can get still, to his spots. He still, can I mean, still hit a shot. I think he's like 14 and 9. So I think in the playoffs, that'll probably go to a 16 and 10. And, you know, that's arguably your third or fourth option. So, so man, yeah. I think he's playing that down, man. Mm-hmm. He don't want no attention no, I, on him. Absolutely. He wants the scout report to be about those three yep. younger guys. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because you know what? Chris Paul uh, is good enough to where you won't forget about him, but... If you like Chris Paul is good enough to where if you if you put him like oh yeah that's just mm-hmm. wait wait let, no. let him shoot that no she no you're not no he's going to he, Chris Paul's one of them players who good enough that if you do that to him mm-hmm. yeah he, he gonna make you pay for and it. then you also think too the goal in the playoffs is you know run teams off the three point line you yeah. have the three best mid range shooters in the game you got KD Book and CP three of the best probably top best. five in the game facts you that know can control at, at, the game at mid range too so I think Phoenix is gonna be tough man. Yeah, I, I can't wait to see. I'm going to watch tonight, um, and I hate to even do this, but, yeah, man, on paper, man, I, 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 if the Suns go like how I look on paper, man, Problem. it's going to be hard to shut that down. You watching Memphis? Yeah. They're, uh... Memphis is tough. Man, and you know what? They're tough. They're tough without, without their best player. Which is scary. Which is really scary. Like, they're by committee for real, for real. Yeah. And they're so young, not to cut you off, Ticket, that they don't give a fuck about who they play, like they don't have no, and, and, and I say this in a row, they don't have res- no respect for nobody. Like they feel like they're the best team in the league every single game with the best player and they don't care about what you've done in the past, who you got, they coming for your neck. You gotta be like that though, Matt. You mm-hmm. know, to dethrone to, to somebody yep. or to beat somebody. You gotta believe it first. You, you gotta believe it, but then you can't get no fuck. You know, yep. a, lot of the, a lot of the narrative though, I'm gonna throw something out here, Joe. Look, I'm feeling this, so tell me if you're feeling this. So we watching the, um, we all watching the fouls, uh, the technical foul situation. That's a real narrative. Mm-hmm. You know why that narrative's out there? So that they can control these players during the playoffs. Guess who else is aware of the narrative? Mm. The fans. Mm. The fans know how many uh, oh, yeah, absolutely. technical fouls you got. Mm-hmm. They're taunting. The fans. It's harder. Fa- fans are going. If 10 was to scale, fans are on like a 20 right now mm-hmm. and, and taunting and just, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So I'm watching, and then, too, I'm watching the league starting to get ready for the playoffs. Are you watching the chippiness? Yeah. Are we watching when Absolutely. April gets here? How to, ooh, I'm watching it, I'm yeah. watching it. I'm saying all this to say that um, you have to go into a game plan knowing that your best defenders, which are Dray- the Draymonds, the Dylan Brooks, these guys, right, that are actually, di- they had a clip on um, Dylan Brooks or Steph Curry, and he ended up blocking the shot in the series, but it was a series of effort. It wasn't nothing else. He blocked it. He had some emotion in it. That's the playoffs to me. Absolutely. I don't want the league fucking with that. The mm-hmm. kid gave... Four different efforts on an offensive player who had, who gave him four different looks. Steph gave him the pump fake, he didn't have it, he threw it in the joint, he came off the double, Dylan, man, if you see this clip, he, he, mm-hmm. he does like four or five different efforts. What I'm, the point I'm making is that at the end of the play, Matt, you see him. He, ah! Uh, he love it. I don't want the narrative to control that. Yeah. That's what I love to see from Dylan Brooks. All the other shit. Yeah. The reason why we love Dennis Rodman was his effort. The yeah. reason why we love some of the antics from some of our, our great press, because they are playing effort. so fucking yeah. hard. Yeah. And to me, that narrative trying to, it's, it's really, it, it, it douses that. It yeah. actually 
taste that passion out of it. And what I love about the playoffs is the passion. No, I agree. And I think the two guys you mentioned are leading the league in Tex. Yeah. Draymond and Dylan and Brooks. And they're controlling them, bro. Draymond and Dylan Brooks. But those right two control the game yeah. from an energetics perspective. Mm-hmm. And no one's sitting back talking about that. Mm-hmm. But that's a real narrative. Yeah, no, I completely agree. And, and I don't... I don't even remember back when we played. I don't remember the refs being such a topic of conversation. Like, they've been horrible this yeah. year and just throwing out texts left and right and, and getting guys. And like you said, that's what this game is about, especially now, especially going to the playoffs, is energy and effort. Yeah. You can't control if your shot's going in. or this nope. is, You can always control your energy yeah. and effort, and that's what you want in the playoffs. And you look at the game last night against... Uh, Golden State versus uh, the Pelicans, but they're down 20. That That was a playoff game. I don't care what you say. And then Draymond's energy, whether it was getting tactical fouls, roughing it up, cussing his teammate out, having to talk with Bob during the game, like he pressed the right buttons for Golden State to turn that shit on. At the right time, too. So I like Memphis. Uh, To me, they're very scary. I just have to see it in the playoffs. I have to see them, like similar to Sacramento, scary team. I have to see it in the playoffs. Denver. Set out the West the whole, the, the whole season. I have to see it in the playoffs. But like I said, unlike any other season, the guys creeping up have done it in the playoffs. Phoenix has been to the finals. The Clippers have been to the Western finals. The Lakers have won a championship with this run. You know what I mean? So there's teams that are creeping up that bottom, holding up the bottom of the West, that have all the tools that just have an off season that could come out of the West and represent. It's a bunch of, to add on to that, what you just said, are we still, and I'm going here, just, just follow me. Are we still, are we still waiting on James Harden? James Harden still got to have a really good, solid playoff. Don't you think? It's a bunch of what-ifs. I throw him in that what-ifs. If the, if the 76ers are going to be a big run and has make to. a big run, no he has to show up. In, I have not seen James Harden have an unbelievable playoffs yet. Mm. I'm talking about that same James. Even back when he was MVPs and dropping the crazy right? He get to the playoffs and then we have that drop-off. Mm-hmm. Is, mm-hmm. it, are we, are, is he in that conversation too as the quest, question marks or what uh, else? I, I almost think, and I say this with all due respect, I think people are looking past him. I think he has to remind people who he is. Man, I, told, I told Sam this. I said, man, I would like to see James just get 50 one time. Mm. Can James, I asked mm. Peters, can James still get 50? I don't know if 50, because I, 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 you have to think, James was so good, Ticket. They made it, the NBA change the rules because of him. All this shit and all, facts, getting, facts, you know what I mean? Facts. So that was a huge Man, part of his game. Every shit. night it was holy 12 shit. to 16 free he throws on that. God damn it. You know what I mean? Shit. So now that they're, it, you know, it's, it's, it's not called the Harden rule, God but it should be called the Harden rule. So if you think, you know, he can have a 11 for 27 oh, night and still give you 45 because he's getting 16 free throws. So... I think that definitely has hurt him, but I, I, I like what James, I mean, he's reinvented his game. He's nearly yep. a 20 and 10 guy now, you know, he's which more. is still yep. great. And then he knows he, who, who drives the truck is Embiid, you know, so yep. I think both them, obviously, James has been down with an Achilles, uh, Embiid with the calf, but I think they put themselves in that top three in the West, co- or excuse me, East conversation yep. with Boston, Milwaukee, and I think Philly is a, is a top tier in the Eastern Conference, but it's going to take a special performance from both those two stars to get them out of the East. Yeah. Because cause they got two steamrolls. I see mm-hmm. the Celtics gaining momentum. And the Bucks are tough. And the Bucks are just... Bucks are tough. Man, and then Brooke Lopez. Nobody actually had Brooke Lopez on that, on that scope, man. Uh, we talked about Memphis, man. JJJ, uh, J the third. Um, he going to have a chance to win uh, Defensive Player of the Year? I think it's him between him and the old man you just mentioned. Him and Brooke Lopez, Brooke man. Lopez, I mean, t- what I love about Brooke Lopez is he's reinvented his game. you got to think in Brooklyn, yes. he was on the post. He was an all-star, back-to-the-basket player. And slowly but surely, he has worked his way out to be one of the most efficient stretch bigs in the game. But then he's also protecting that paint at, yeah. at, at his older age. The, the ability not only to block shot, but to chain shots and clean up, you know, clean up the, uh, the defensive glass. So... I'm going to go on a dark horse. I'm going to go with Brooke Lopez just because, you know what I mean, because I've seen him grow up and, 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 and him and his little brother used to get into some mischief in the gym when I would play with their older brother. Him and his little twin brother, Robin, would run through the gym and snatch purses and do all kinds of little funny stuff when Whoa. they were younger, little twins. So I've always had a special place for those two. But I really just, again, I like the way he's been able to reinvent himself. And I feel like Triple J in Memphis has a lot of defense of the year yeah. stats coming and I'll tell you one thing about him, too. I got a chance to see him in person. I didn't know how big he was, JJJ. Yeah, he's like 6'11". He's like 6'10", 6'10 and a half, 11, but he's, he's, he's built, oh, too. He's like, man, I, I went next to him. I'm like, damn, bro, you're big. You know what I mean? And I'm 6'8". This dude is big, long, athletic, and an unorthodox offensive game, but very efficient. So if, if, if Jaron Jackson doesn't get it this year, I think it definitely goes to Brooke Lopez. But I see 
two, three, possibly four defensive player of the years coming in uh, Jaron Jackson's yeah. near future. And that's part of his makeup, too, to defend the rim and how, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Logan. I used to call Brook Lopez Logan because when he didn't shave, he looked like Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you guys with each other, yeah, right? Oh, yeah. You're talking about one of the best Good teammates dude, in right? the world. Great dude, right? Great dude. Man, great Him dude. Him and his brother man. both. Shout, man, shout out to Logan, man. My dog, Brook Logan, Lopez, Logan, that's man. funny. Well, whoever the defensive player of the award goes to, man, I think both of them have done mm -hmm. uh, enough work for both of them mm -hmm. uh, to be able to get it. And uh, whoever it is, man, I'm, I'm super, super, super happy for either one of them. Both of my guys, man, mm -hmm. straight up. Shout out to both of those guys. Um, I got to ask you, dog. Let me hear your, let me hear your, mm -hmm. uh, your all NBA first team. Who you got on your all NBA first <sighs> team? I should have thought about this. Ooh, uh, woo! Center. Center. That's how you want to go. You want to go? Embiid. Embiid in my center. Damn. Uh, front court, Giannis and Jason Tatum. My guards, Luca. Has Steph played enough to qualify? It's close. It's about 50 games. It's close. Um, I mean, fuck it. We do yeah, what we Steph. do. Yeah. So Steph, Luca, uh, Tatum, Giannis, Embiid. Oof. I mean, I know that's you know, that's I, 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 Jaws should could be in that conversation. Yeah. Um, who else? Devin Booker could be in that yeah. that conversation. SGA, bro. Shea. Yeah, Shea. Silent killer. Yeah, Shea don't get enough um... TV time. Yeah. And then, too, I, I don't really think we appreciate what he does. When you watch him play, like, I, I watched him play against the Clippers. Mm -hmm. I watched him play a couple times against somebody. Bro, he's cold. And he was, man, his shift. Right. <laughs> his, his fucking shift. He got the, he got a, he got a backwards cross. Yeah. He got a, but, nah, he, he, yeah, he, yeah. Let me see if I'm missing it. He's, um, yeah. Uh, who's, your, a, who's, who's yours? That's a great list, bro. It's very similar, because I had Tatum. Playing unbelievable this year. Um, I had Brunson playing great this year. I had, you know, like, yeah. It's, will, Brun got, will Brunson be an all NBA performer? I'm not saying he has to be first team, but there's three teams. Do you think Brunson will be a, a, a top no, 15? No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. Okay. I'm not, I'm not saying that. Um, I would definitely say uh, Luca Ja. Luca Ja is my, my guards for the mm -hmm. year. They, they was consistent. Uh, I mean, I mean, pfft. Yeah, I'm not putting anybody in front of Tatum. Yeah, Giannis and Embiid. I thought Embiid did enough this year to where he was consistent throughout the whole course of the season mm -hmm. to where I felt like he was the better center. Uh, I thought Joker was, man, it made it hard. Joker made the motherfucker hard, though. Tough. Joker damn near average to uh, uh, triple, triple double. double. He was consistent. He played almost every game. You know yeah. another motherfucker that I love, man? Julius Randle. Dog. Julius Randle made a climb this shit, bro. I think Brunson helped was, that. Because yeah, I, I think Brunson so took yeah. the pressure off, off Randle of to have yeah. to make plays. Like, you can just go get a bucket now. I'm going to make plays for right. you. And if they double or triple team you, that's when you can make a play. So I agree. I agree. He's Julius really Julius developed Randall's that three monster. ball. He's really developed that and patience. And fucking dog, too. I think the next step for him, though, is being a solid leader for mm -hmm. those guys. He got to learn to... Listen, a lot of times as the best player, man, you taking in on energy mm -hmm. and, you know, when you sit down on that bench and you giving out and everybody's going, sometimes you got to, you got to, you got to sit and you got to take the breath. Yeah. yeah. You got to be the one to be the bigger yeah. person in conversations. You got to be the more poised. Well, you, I mean, you, I mean, you could, no one better to speak to this because you I'm were saying. a leader, but you played everything right here with a chip on your shoulder. Right. But at times you knew when to. Yeah. Yeah. I had to, But then man. get right back to it. I had to, man. I, I messed this up, man. I lost a player. I, 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 I'm going to have to say his name. Um, I played with a guy named, uh, Ro, um, damn, uh, Rosho. Uh, Mysterovich. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. and, um, in Minnesota. Yeah, and he was, he, he, was a, uh, he was a quiet guy, very chill. And he didn't respond to you in his face. Mm -hmm. He responded to the pat on the back to the, hey, keep going, right. you know, he mm -hmm. responded to that. And he went to San Antonio for just that reason. Hey, I can't deal with KG when he, when he liked this, that, mm -hmm. that, he, he can't hear. And man, that, that fuck with me, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Cause I used to actually pride myself on being a decent teammate or a really good teammate that can go to guys and blah, 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 just because I can understand that. And when I was younger, I used to struggle with that. So I wanted to be that for the younger guys. And when Rosho did that, man, I made it, I made it my business to take, uh, to really jump into my yoga, to really, 
to mm. really jump in my yeah. woo saw, to really, really like, you know what? Nah, it would be, a, it, it would never be another uh, teammate that mm -hmm. say I did that. Or See, but that's self-awareness on your part, because a lot of motherfuckers say, well, fuck him, he's soft. You mean, but right. you to have aware, aware enough to be like, okay, maybe I could, could it's, could it's different. Because I had, I seen a, a situation with how Kobe would handle Powell. Oh, yeah. Kobe would oh, no, be, he was super hard on Powell. But then at times he would be able to come to the side and pull him to the side yeah. and speak, you know, speak his language and, and really get Powell to lock in. But at times he would bark and obviously Powell like that wasn't Powell's way of getting motivated or whatever Facts. it is. So I, you know what's crazy with Kobe? I seen Kobe jump on Powell in Spanish. Yeah. Hey. And I'm fucking with him like English yeah. nigga. He don't understand that shit. Like, Fuck that. Yeah. And I'm just, Real. you know. Yeah. And I'm Real like, shit. boy, you don't get a whooping out here, boy, pal. You better listen. Real and I shit. just fuck with it, right? <laughs> but man, um, you gotta be, I feel like Julius Randle has to take that next step to be that, to be that consistent, solid mm -hmm. leader because he's taking the jump now. Mm -hmm. He's 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 gonna be one of those faces. He's in New York. Yes. He's in like the, the Mecca of this shit, man. Bro, he is the face, bro. He mm -hmm. Julius Randle doing his thing, bro. So yeah, the, the honorable mentions and then the two, man. I, uh, listen, I'm not gonna leave this kid out, man. Damn your Fox, man. We don't, give, a, we don't give enough motherfucking attention I, to I, these I, niggas, I, man. I, I was this nigga's a fourth quarter killer. We never talk about him. They 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 fucked him on the All-Star. Like, man, fuck that shit, man. We we need some more awards, man. We need some more awards. It, it needs to be another award for that nigga who takes those type of jumps, man. I see Darian Fox getting shitted on, man, straight up. The league need to do something. There is, a, there is an award this year. It's a clutch player. Okay. Yeah, he, he needs he that. Taylor yeah. Man, Listen, yeah. fourth quarter, is no. If, yeah. he's a killer. Hey, bro, he's, him, he's in that conversation. Him and Sabonis. Sabonis man. is a, you know, a triple, a double-double machine, triple-double machine, leads the league in double-doubles, 20, 13, and 7. Plays got one all the time. Are they the new Stockton Malone? Ooh, 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 ooh. It's no two better. It's no two better, bro. We can say James and 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 and, and, and Joel, right? Mm -mm. We can say that, right? Mm -mm. Not like this, though. Mm -mm. And the way that oh. Sabonis can pass that bitch too. Facts. And they doing all they, 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 like they doing the old. You remember when the, eight, you remember the yeah. ATL used to the bounce like this? Bank <laughs> bounce, yeah. Nah. Hey, you give it to Big Fella. Big Fella be bouncing. He's shaking and baking, bro. They Listen. know how to play. They got some shooters around. Like, Sacramento's going to be fun in the yeah, playoffs. Like I said, I, I think, you know, it's, it's going to be uphill sledding because it's new to them, but they got talent, and this is where they start building their foundation is now because, I, like I said, I, I, I'm not going to be crazy and think because I work for them, they're going to win the championship, but I think they're going to make a very solid show, and I can see them yes, playing in the second are. round and get hot, even going to what? the Western Conference Finals, they get hot. But I think this is a great building block to adding more pieces and, and continuing to build a, a steady foundation out there in SAC. And that fan base. Nuts. It's hard to, it's hard Nuts, to get bro. a win in that motherfucker. Nuts, boy. If you win in SAC, I saw, I saw Milwaukee come in SAC and have to grind out to like Tough the one. last two minutes. Tough one. And they had to be experienced. They had to be an experienced team with a guy like Drew Holiday who could actually con who could get some control on a little quick motherfucker yeah. like D. Fox. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like it's funny you said that though because after that game, I told them. That was a loss, but to me, that was more of a learning experience. It was. You're yo. trying to get to where they've been, and you see how they execute down the stretch. They get a good look every time. They get yep. the key stop. They, they don't get turnovers. Want, they yo. get the rebounds. I get, they get what they want on the offensive. It's not forced. So, I mean, like, that, that was a great thing, because I really think the Kings learned a lot from that game. My first team All-NBA would be Steph and Luka at the guards, mm. Tatum and Giannis at the front, the forwards, and Joel Embiid as my center. Yeah, I'm doing, uh, I'm doing Ja Luka. Ja Luka at my guards. Um, I'm, doing, I'm doing Tatum, too. Uh, I got Tatum in there, uh, Giannis and uh, Joel. I thought Joel... Is, uh, and I think Joel is MVP this year. I thought Agreed. he was consistent throughout the year, and uh, he had no lapses. Uh, I only look forward to him going into the playoffs with the same hunger and see what, what happens. And let's but, not forget the end of January, he gave uh, Joker 47 yeah. of them things, 47 yeah. and 18. I wouldn't feel him something. sitting out, though. I, I didn't like it. I didn't like that either. And then, you know like what, too? You got to give him his get I'm, back. You got to get a get back, but I'm looking for, back. I got this game circled, bro. Got to give him the get bro, back. Bro, you, you took the air out of me, man. Yeah. You took the air like out it. of the day, like bro. I didn't, like it. I didn't he, like it. I didn't like it. You didn't get a chance to give his get back, so yeah, you know, it's, it's all good. Mm -hmm. It is what it is, but yeah. So, the six man, man, is it any better running than quickly and uh, Malcolm Brogdon? Like, I'm going to throw one more in the mix, Norman Powell. Oh. I think he should be in that conversation. He's leading everybody mm. uh, off the bench in scoring, but yeah. 
Really? Mm -hmm. Norman Powell. Oh, yeah, yeah, the clip joint. Yeah. yeah. You know, the only thing I don't like, man, with uh, with Quickly, he started a couple. They've had the, yeah. they've had to throw him in there. Yeah. I don't care, though. I, I Listen, I, I love it. I love all this to the end of the season. It keeps me engaged. Yeah, right. It keeps me super watching these guys. Yeah. Um, I remember, too, not to cut you off, I remember playing with Jamal Crawford on them Lob City teams mm. when he was in his six-man run. He was and locked I, in, man. I remember there would be games that, you know, Doc might want to start him, and I remember Jamal, not because he didn't want to play, but he just wanted to come off the bench because oh. he wanted to get that motherfucking six-man award. So, yeah, that's starting and playing. I think Quigley is obviously, he, he's played enough off the bench to qualify to be in yeah. the six-man conversation, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So, um, I think it's going to be tight. I mean, I really like, I crazily said maybe a year ago that, man, if, if Boston got Brogdon, that would be it. Because I love Marcus Smart, but he's not a true point guard. Um, Brogdon shooting 44% from the free uh, from the three-point line. Uh, one of the best shooters, great locked defender, but I like his mental. Yeah. Very under control. We were talking about being able to pull very yourself poised. and be in control. Very poised. Can run a team, has came off the bench every game, but, you know, can very easily start there. Uh, Quigley is on the big stage, man, and, yeah. and he's an electric scorer. You yeah. know, electric Boy. scorer. He could, could put points up in, in, in a hurry. A uh, really bright future for him. And then Norman Powell, I like Norman Powell because he does it on both ends. He's someone who's a lockdown defender, someone who's actually bought into that coming off the bench because he is the talent, he, he has the talent to be a starter, similar to Brogdon, sim yeah. similar to Quigley. All of them yeah. have talent to be starters, but everyone accepted their role. So I think it's going to be a fun, like you said, run. It, it's going to come down to the wire. And, and all these guys are you know, going to continue to show their shit until someone takes home that award. Pick one. If you got to pick one, who, you, who is it if you have to pick one? Brogdon. Brogdon. Yeah. I was thinking the same thing. Mm -hmm. And I actually think the way that the Knicks are going without Brunson, that quickly is probably more of a... I think he's taking a big leap. He, he has. He's, I think he's had leap. to, though, right? Yeah. He's had yeah. to pick up a lot of Brunson but he's, out. But he's, but, he's, but he's done it. Man. You know, obviously Brunson's having yeah. a hell of a... We can't say enough. You got to think, at going into this, everyone thought the Knicks are crazy for giving Brunson $100 million. I think he's underpaid. Facts. I think Brunson's underpaid with the money he got. But everyone was thinking, like, nah, that money, is that's too much money. Nah, he proved, he definitely proved his worth. And like we said earlier, he's made Julius Randle better just by taking some of the pressure, pressure off right. him. Then a white, you know what we didn't do either? We didn't give Brunson any credit for anything that done in, my, in, in Dallas. We didn't give him no credit. Well, now we see. He, listen, <laughs> do we? Now we Should've see. put the glasses on or something. See, because we heard, see, I heard that he didn't want to stay, and that's why he went to New York, but then he mm. just said something last week that he wanted to be long-term in Dallas. So oh, to, wow. to, to, to find out who fumbled that opportunity, maybe they didn't think that was, he deserved that money at the time, but you can definitely tell that Dallas is missing him. Because I love they, him in New York, though. Great, yeah. Fuck great that. He, <laughs> he, he is perfect in New yeah. York. He fits right, yeah. he's perfect in New York. What do you feel like outside, what do you feel like they're, obviously I feel like they're gonna make some noise in the playoffs this year. If they had a, a big free agent pickup, you don't have to tell me the player, but a, what type of player you feel like the Knicks need? You know what I always thought the Knicks needed? I always thought, like, I always wanted to see a guy like Chris Paul, a guy who was a very sure person, very confident, but then who could orchestrate. Like, when you got pieces like Randall, when you got um, uh, Barrett, they, 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 like, at one point, the Knicks was like, like, they still do. They still got pieces like Brunson. Like, when you have people who can get it and, 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 and got them jelly and they go into their mix and all that, you need, you need, a, you need an orchestrator. Mm -hmm. You need a, you, you know, you need an operator. Someone who can, hey, you get in the corner, mm -hmm. you need to, all right, come up. I want to pick a roll, come Make up. Make sure everybody eats. He, 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 I've always wanted a guy mm -hmm. like Chris Paul to go somewhere to there to where he could be like the Tibbs on mm -hmm. the floor. Mm. The next thing I think the, the Knicks need is a true leader in a veteran that can come in and get them over the hump. Mm. I think Julius Randle's going to get them to a point, but even he, him and those young guys are going to need like a boost mm -hmm. to be able to get them over the hump. So you, got, you, got, you got fucking Boston who's been together. Hold on. You got motherfucking uh, Milwaukee who's been together. Yeah. You got you to gotta have that boost. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you know who we don't talk about too? Cleveland. When, when are we going to put Donovan Mitchell in the, in the MVP? Where are you going to put him in the conversation? I think this is when I, because I like Cleveland, but to me, again, they got to they show, show us. Yeah. 
They got to show us. Yeah. Because they got they got Garland, who's a double double guy, all star. They got Jared Allen. They got uh, they got a monster. Young Mobley. boy from SC, they got Mobley. Mobley over there, Joe. Uh, hey. They got a lot of young pieces that can shoot the ball. They play hard. So I want to see what they and can do. And to me, if we theorize it, the league won't that four five. The league wants Cavs Knicks. Mm. That's gonna. The be league heavy. wants Cavs Knicks. That's gonna be heavy. And, and, I got the, and I don't know if I got the Cavs in that either. Nah, nah, but yeah. Not with Julius Randle. I, you know, I'm a, I'm a huge on the Cavs. I, you know, I, I've already put the bet down on them, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 I'm, hey, look, you see how mad it is with the Kings? That's how I be yeah. looking at the Cavs, man. The Cavs got so much potential, man. Yeah, they do. And a good, a good young coach. Straight up, straight mm -hmm. up. Yeah, you know what? Mm -hmm. JB up for yeah. coach, coach yeah. of the year. I just, I just think that Mike Brown just did, just oh, yeah. have been so consistent that mm -hmm. I don't, I just think that hands down, dog. Him yeah. and JB would be, be a dope little run and run, run, mm -hmm. but yeah. Yeah, I think NB got it too. Yeah, 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 that too. Yeah, NB, it's over. Some some awards already spoken mm -hmm. for. All right, so I, I, I looked at the free agent class for this upcoming year, so I wanted to throw a couple of Oh, yeah, let's, let's hit this. Throw that out. Uh, a couple that stand out to me, Chris Middleton, and then you you said, hey, they need a leader. Mm. They need a leader. Draymond Green is also a free agent. I think Draymond, if I'm being honest, I'm being 100. Draymond has, Draymond has the formula. He know what works for him, and I don't think he's gonna take no chance. When you when you not won four championships somewhere, guess what you know how to do? You y'all figured out the cheat code. Y'all know how to mm -hmm. win it now. Then he's already established his 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 connection with all the players. Bro, it ain't gonna get no. Where the fuck can he go and then get better than Golden State? He ain't gonna play with no two better shooters, right. no two better players. Right. And then you got look, you got young guys like Wiggins and Jordan Poole who and gonna be man. When they done, we gonna look at them like yeah, man. They straight up, straight and, up. And Jordan he Poole got with that smart young like smart players too, like high IQ players. The only way I see Draymond leaving Golden State is if he teams up LeBron somehow. That's the only way. I see him leaving. I don't, see, I, him leave, I don't see him leaving that. I don't, they got don't. something great in Golden State, bro. Yeah. They, that shit working. Yep. That shit is working. Every other year, that shit is working. Mm -hmm. I don't care what you say, but... You said Middleton, though. Middleton to the Knicks? Middleton Ooh, to the Knicks? Oh, shit. Oh. He another mm -hmm. motherfucker. Like, he, yeah. he can't leave Giannis. I don't think he's leaving, but can you imagine <laughs> okay. Brunson, you, Middleton, and Randall? Ooh, that's like, ooh. And that's to think about that's too, that's, that's not like a uh, like we, we're not no, there's no superstars in that level, but I would feel very comfortable saying they can come out the East with those three. That's a tough three, tough-minded group of three. Yeah, you still got to run into that bus so up in uh, Milwaukee. Yeah, but without his sidekick, mm. without Robin though. I mean, he's still a bus so you yeah, still no, got absolutely. Drew Holiday right absolutely. there. You got to resign Brooke. Absolutely. You know, ooh, but Drew Holiday's made a big jump too. We ain't talked about him. I don't think you know, we, I've been, I don't I, think I've been, I've been, every week, yo, yo, y'all ain't watching him. I love Drew. I've been watching him in particular, man. <laughs> Nate and P on my ass yeah. about to straight up, man. I just watched him one week, man. Where stretched. I'm talking about that two week right after the play, uh, right after the um, All, All Star. Break. Man, Drew Holiday was the best player in the league for about three weeks. Real shit. He was hitting big shots, locking motherfuckers locking up. up. Straight up, it was no, uh, it wasn't no bullshit. And he don't say shit. He don't say nothing. Straight up. And I think he doing that Chris Paul shit. I think he toned it down waiting for the playoffs. Yeah. Man, this might be one of the best playoffs be anticipations fun, of the year, yo. It's going to be up. fun. The Western Conference is wide open, and then the East is going to be a battle. Man, man, y'all look for that goddamn playoff edition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, man, I got to ask Matt two things. Michael Jordan, you see what MJ finna get for the uh, Hornets? 1.7. MJ, MJ paid 175, 175. <laughs> No, what did he pay? No, he paid 175. 175 million? 175 million for uh, the rights. And then he finna get damn near two B's off of it. One, congratulations, but I think that we need, I think we need a minority. I, yeah, I, right. We, we need a black owner. He's the only in the, one. We need it. It's the only one. It's essential for our league. Talk about it. I just want to hear your views. It I think it, it, MJ was a great start because, you know, we have to see it to believe it. You know, we look up to, we, we want to idolize and be like what we see. And, you know, from the neighborhoods to wherever we go in our career, right. we have to see it to believe it. So for Mike to go to management, to ownership, uh, you know, you could say what you want about the team, but he did it. Um, so I agree. I definitely think we need more minority ownership. We need my, no, more minority uh, management. Right. Um, we need more opportunities. You know, it's you know, I, I think 
and I'm glad, I, I think we're kind of coming out of that big analytics boom. I think more, it's, we're, they're starting to go back to the eye test. It's not so much about these little micro, mini, mm. bullshit ass numbers, it's more about, can we see you play? Right. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's, it's a whole new wave of really skilled kids coming in, and, and can we see you play? So. I definitely think there needs to be, you know, more minority representation in ownership and in management. Um, and, and hopefully, you know, that'll come. Let me ask you this, too. With the collective bargaining agreement coming up, right, what do you think are the biggest issues with this, with this whole collective bargaining agreement? From a... From an owner's perspective, in both sides, you know. The, the game's grew, but at the same time, you know, viewership is down. No, nobody... Uh, in the in the collective, in the fraternity, like seeing the viewership being for our, our greatest game, the All Star mm -hmm. game, be mm -hmm. at its lowest, mm -hmm. perspective wise. Yeah. So something has to change. Streaming, what Bomber Vision is doing with the Clippers, yeah. is the future. If we don't want to just say that, I'll say it. Yeah. It's the future. Everybody's yeah. taking their asset, and they're going home, want to play ball, and you know, look look, look what he's doing. He's he's not only creating his own space in L.A., but he's creating his own way to doing things mm -hmm. as a Clipper. It's a copycat league, too. Listen, so and, and listen, you know, Cuban, all these tech guys we got in the league, mm -hmm. and these owners we got in the league, what do you think are the biggest, I don't know, question marks, would you say, for either side? Uh, Player management. I, I think, you know, I, I think that, you know, this, this new, this next deal is going to be astronomical, um, and it's going to be very beneficial for the players. Um, but where it goes is, is crazy because we all know that the future is in streaming. And, you know, you see Amazon and those guys throwing money at the NFL and, you know, getting up, you know, taking up all these rights. It's going to take a lot of money to capture that elusive NBA. But whoever captures it, it's, it, it's going to be massive. Uh, you can go see the NFL on three different networks. Prime, Sunday Ticket, and also the NFL Network. And you just can, basic cable. Right. You, 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 okay, so where can you see the NBA other than what, Turner? Right, the mouse. ESPN. Yeah, and, right, right, yeah. right, right. And you see it in grown out to Baltimore yeah. Vision got it to where you No, nah, yeah. don't go watch ESPN, watch Baltimore Vision. Yeah, you're right. You know, oh, don't walk, don't go watch the Lakers. Uh the Lakers on ESPN. Come come watch yeah. Laker Vision. Like, is that where we going? Yeah. So what's this number then? And so are we over hundred B's? I don't think it's that high. Shit. Fifty to seventy five is what it's fifty to seventy five. Yeah. Seventy five to me is hundred B's, bro. Right. Well, my biggest thing that I think the owners are gonna go out there is um, a player um, low, management. low management. Because you're they missing. Should. As they should. And two, you know what? I actually like them coming out saying, hey, look, if you want to apply for some of these awards, play. you got to play. Plain and then, system. don't give me this. Don't, don't fucking turn around and, hey, um, uh, uh, Anthony Davis is going to play the rest of the year. Uh, he's going to play all the rest of the 10 games. Uh, duh, motherfucker, he should. <laughs> like, don't turn around and sell this shit to me like he's doing us a favor. Like, dog, our superstars got to be fucking here and they got to carry the game. And I don't think that the superstars understood how heavy of a low. I think Bron, Bron's been Bron since Bron, right? Right. So he's, so, so he's been dealing with stardom forever, right? But I don't think the other stars as a collective understood right. how heavy this shit is yeah. and how heavy the league is. Mm -hmm. and how Michael Jordan, Elijah you Barkley, like Play. these niggas had, man, these niggas had it on their shit, Joe, for like 17, 18. Play. You know what I'm saying? And you got cut and you got, and you, and you tore. What? Nigga? I'm finna kill this nigga. He ain't playing. Oh shit, <laughs> bro. You, you, we all been in there. He I ain't playing. Watch, I didn't even watch the game. Man, he, I'm surprised he ain't shooting up. Yeah, yeah. yeah that calf, huh? Oh, I done shot some. <laughs> I done shot some. Ooh. Let Timmy ass been hurt. Let she been hurt. What? I'm definitely Man. shooting some. But also think about, too, with this new TV deal, whoever decides to take the rights, these dudes are going to be making $60 million yes. a year. Yes. you yes. got to, you know, I, I just think responsibility comes with that. A lot of responsibility, but first and foremost, you got to be healthy, but you got to play, man. Yeah, you got to play, man. Yeah, you do. And got then to. I, I look at, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't even like doing this, but I'm looking at a guy like Ben Simmons, man. Yeah. Ben Simmons, man, if you listening, man, I want you, to, I want you to go back and find your roots, man. Go back and find why you love playing the game, man. Straight up. You got a lot to give to the game, bro. Straight up. Like... To shut him down and him have back issues and be going through this whole fucking song and dance. This nigga's like Melo, his cousins at home, Dwight Howard. This nigga's at home that can be in the league, in the position, bro. 
Like, straight up. If your heart ain't in it, man, it, it is what it is. Yeah. You know, I hate to say that, man. I think he got another run in him, but it's going to have to be Ben Simmons, bro. It's going to have to be him. Not his mom, not none of this, not none of this collective around him and all. It's going to have to be yeah. him. Straight up, bro. I, I want to see dude. I want to yeah, see dude get like back to killing, man. I like his game. And then, too, we ain't even seen Ben Simmons with the G. We ain't seen Ben Simmons pull up, two, two dribble pull up, left, uh -huh, off the glass. Like, he got a whole nother fucking level, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm, man, bro, it, it hurt me to see that him shut down, but mm -hmm. at, the, at the next, but he got he to gotta come back and he got to give us something, bro. I'm talking about, I need to see Ben Simmons in the fucking summer league. I need to see Ben Simmons. I need to see some summer workouts, all that shit. None of that fucking IG shit that, hey, you got it? Okay, you ready? Okay, go, and then I'm done. <laughs> I'm talking about some real, like, workouts, bro. Yeah. Like, straight up. That's what this is. That's what the NBA is. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's it, man. That's shit. I know we got some motion, man. That's the real closeout. Certified, yeah. <laughs>